if you were seeing that weak side, let's say that that side that feels really vulnerable, really shaky, mm -hmm. and you were in a in a strong place in terms of being feeling like you had love to spare, what would you tell that little girl? I would say that it's only a bad day and not a bad life. Mm. You know, it's 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 an experience that mm. there's a lesson to be learned in good and bad. Mm. So I, I'd be I'd be giving her a big cuddle and telling her everything's okay and things will move on. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Do you, do you think you could do that for yourself? Where you right away like sort of step in like a nurse rather than like a judge because the way you've been doing it is in the role of a judge saying oh i'm too weak and therefore i can't do anything you know what i mean that's mm -hmm. very judgmental very very kind of absolute yeah so yeah. if you took a different role maybe yeah yeah practice just past i need to i need to analyze really don't i when these thoughts are coming in i need to I suppose journalize them and put them put them to one side and then bring in my my loving person and yes. and yes. that might be a good way of dealing with it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, there's there's pain from the past. What would you tell? Let's say the pain is not just about uh let's say um let's say a cashier was very rude to you at a store, you know, mm -hmm. the woman taking the money and and for some reason it really got to you it shook you up um i don't know if that kind of thing ever upsets you but let's say it got to you like oh you know <laughs> why is the world like this um <laughs> and you know so sometimes these things mean nothing and and for some people it pushes a button so let's say something pushed your button when that happens it's actually touching on something a pain from the past that's un uh resolved it's unprocessed right yeah I, I think the arrogance for me when when somebody's being arrogant that that really does touch a nerve i don't like that quality in a person whatsoever mm. um, and when i come across it i tend to my heckles come up and I'm, i am quite don't come near me uh, or I'll, I'll just want to go in a situation where a person is like that so um even though i can't pinpoint it or pinpoint why it is that they're uh, hurting me or irritating me or whatever i, I tend to pick up on it instinctively wow. so I, back, I do back away whereas before i'd probably get into an argument or i might say something out of turn now i just i just think right this is not worth it just walk away just out yeah. of curiosity what would you say to an arrogant person if in those days when you would like get into it with them well i'd, I'd just basically say well if, if i was angry <laughs> um probably a lot of profanities <laughs> but uh, um I, i'd just basically say that you know there's there's absolutely no need to be like that it's rude it's inconsiderate and it's not beneficial for the other person right um or maybe that's what I'd say now. I don't know what I'd I'd, I'd just probably give them a dirty look or maybe a, a smug comment back or something. You uh -huh. know, so that I was I was trying to get to them mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. do to them what they'd just done to me. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't work like that, does it? You only, you only learn when you get older that it doesn't work like that. Right, right. So let me ask you something because I can I can bet you any amount of money that somebody was arrogant with you when you were a child extremely arrogant mm. so who was yeah. that that would be um my uncle who's no longer with us now but he he was i just been coming to to my mum's house and he used to always have stubble on his chin and he used to always rub our face with it uh and oh i have i have got really sensitive skin so i i just looked like the elephant man by the time he finished and i didn't like it i didn't like the way he spoke to us it was it just seemed really rude to me mm. um, so yeah it's my uncle 
that's the only one I can think of really because the, there wasn't many males in in our life really growing up so he's the only one that I can think of when I was younger well arrogance to me is like a complete complete disregard of your feelings yeah that's arrogance because it's just sailing past and that to a child is very hurtful i'm just trying to get back to the inner child that's in you so that you can do some healing work with her not just with the you know it's i think the all the things that you already discovered in terms of it's just a bad day it's not a bad life those are wonderful tools to use um uh are are really valuable but also with the the inner child to start to heal some of that pain that's still within you because that's the heart that's the key of it and you know it's interesting when you were talking about you know when you were comforting your um yourself for a, you know when you felt weak you know when we were imaginatively doing that together as an exercise yeah it was so compassionate it was so accepting it was so generous it was so comforting you really made that little child that was also part of you that weaker part of you feel very comforted relieved it's nothing so terrible it's okay everything's going to be fine it's just a bump in the road and put it into such good perspective for the kid mm -hmm. for the child so that it didn't have to blow up it could stay very very small and you know they're there and and i'll kiss it and i'll make it better and in the beginning of our session together you talked about actually how you wanted to um be less critical of others yeah and and i think that rather than working on directly on being less critical of others i think once you're offering that to yourself you're free to offer it to others yeah i, I think you have to be comfortable in your own skin and know who you are exactly. um before before you can let anybody try and well be nice or be be what they want to be with you i, I guess and you know i think i've just had a light bulb moment <laughs> in terms of yeah it's good Woo yeah. um just in terms of self-love i think that it's, it's it is critical because if you can't love yourself how can anybody else love you you know so right mm. exactly bravo bravo yeah. big gold star that's wonderful yeah you took it, you with took it. Oh, sorry go ahead could I have a star with a fairy on as well, please? Yes, you can. Absolutely. You can have a whole shower of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's so great because you you even took it further than, you know, I was thinking you were going, if you don't love yourself, how can you love others? But you took it even further. How can you let anyone love you? Because, and, and that is, it's so brilliant because when you treat yourself with respect mm. and treat yourself with compassion it just becomes so much so obvious when somebody isn't yeah and it's not yeah. a case of being angry it's just a case of no that's not how i am treated because you're that's the one exactly. first you're first treating yeah. yourself so that's brilliant that's really brilliant okay so i think we've come a long way is is there anything else you wanted to to talk about i'd like to meet you in person <laughs> <laughs> i'd love to meet you i want to give you a giant hug and and uh you know just a huge uh just a huge hug and a congratulations on on how you're living your life with so much integrity and 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 really doing the work it's very hard to 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 make a kind of transformation that you've made in your life so it's something to be extremely proud of thank you yeah thank you i'll take that away and it's been lovely thank you for having me yes it's been lovely having you as a guest on the show and i do hope i get to meet you in person so 
come to New York or um, if you'd like to do any sessions with me in private, you can reach me at my website, which is rebalinker.com and you join my Facebook group, which is Leaders in Self-Love. And that's a really beautiful place to meet a lot of other very, very supportive people and people who are on the path and some of them with similar stories to yours, some of some people who've had very happy backgrounds and it's just a big mix up and we're all on that self-love path together because it's not always a question of, you know, how, you know, what did you go through? Sometimes self-love is hard to achieve even for somebody that didn't have any uh, seeming traumatic experiences. Yeah. We're, all, we're all on that same path of, of greater self-love. So thank you so much. Oh, thank and you. Too. It's been a wonderful uh, coaching session. And remember to like this video and leave your comments below. I love to hear what you think, your ideas, your suggestions, your comments. If you'd like to be a guest on Paint Yourself Into the Picture, please visit vcntv.com slash paint yourself into the picture slash apply. And we'd love to have you on the show as well. Join us again next week for another coaching session on Paint Yourself Into the Picture. To see the rest of this episode, click on the link below the video now. You'll be glad you did. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? Click on the link below the video now to see the rest of this epic episode.